From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon noon of Afternoons LA with exciting details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Lots of breaking news today. First, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why the news out of Los Angeles County could signal more months of four stimulus checks. Then we cut to the recon, $3.5 trillion of checks for you. We'll be going over what some of those checks are, and there's a lot of money for seniors in there. You're going to be excited. Then we turn to the vote, the bills, what's going on this coming week, and what you need to know about what's going on over the weekend before this coming week. The bills, the votes, the two items, the recon, and also the bipartisan infrastructure. I'll explain all the details of what you need to know. And then we cut to this stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime with a big lift for my SSI, SSDI, and my veterans. And then we cut to the big money that viewers continue to get, and it's your day to get as well. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-three thousand dollars that this view that this video is getting for viewers of this channel. I'm going to show you how you can get this big sum of money, and it's starting right now on this big afternoon, starting right here on Afternoons Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? How's the weather where you are? Tell me where you're tuning in from and, how, and how's the weather? You made it to the weekend. You're ready for a new week. We're all ready to rock and roll. I'm excited for you. The weather finally cooled down here in Southern California. The evenings are beautiful. The daytime, a little bit muggy, but certainly an onshore breeze. So it's gotten better here. I hope it's better where you are. Jump in the live chat right now and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. In this Force Simmons Check Update of 2021 tonight, today, we'll be going over first that monthly stimulus check and why the news out of Los Angeles signals there could be potentially more months of four stimulus checks. Then we go to the recon where that four stimulus is located, and that recon has $3.5 trillion of checks for you in addition to this. We'll go over what those other items are and why there's a lot of money in there for seniors. Then we cut to the exciting details of the vote. What's going on with Chuck Schumer on Tuesday? And which vote is it? Which bill is it? What type of vote is it? I'll explain all the details. I'll also explain the breaking news about what people are doing this weekend to get it to the finish line. Yes, they're working. <laughs> Surprise. And then we got to fist stimulus. We'll go over the exciting details of what is in the fist stimulus with the range of your benefits of veterans all the way to SSI. And what did Jay Powell say this week that signals your benefits go very high? And then we cut to the thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get, like Nisi, who got $23,000 for his channel, John, who got $12,000 for Snap, and this is Ally, America's only 24 hours a day, seven days a week financial news channel in America, live in the morning, like Mornings Ally, and then taped in the afternoons, like this show, Afternoons, followed by Evenings Ally. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. Next stop, 1 million. 400,000 subscribers in one year. Next stop, 1 million. Hit that subscribe button. Coming up after this show is Evening's Ally, then Overnight's Crypto, then Sirloin is back at 8 o'clock. Move on over. <clears throat> and consider also liking this video. Every like helps in the algorithm ranking. It delivers also some $12 ice cream when it's on sale at $11.99. <laughs> And consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Let's get to the breaking news right off the bat with that fourth stimulus check and what's going on out of L.A. It was L.A. that ironically signaled a whole change of the microcosm of the discussion of the fourth stimulus check two weeks ago. Because at that time, I told you that Los Angeles County said, well, the pandemic may not be over. And if the pandemic was maybe not over at the time, LA County said, maybe you should wear a mask, but you don't have to. On Thursday, two weeks later, this Thursday, the announcement came out from LA County. You must wear a mask indoors, even if vaccinated, signaling that the pandemic's not over. So that is a huge impact on this. Pandemic plus one year, M monthly stimulus checks, house bill from Jalapal. Sent a proposal July to December. Let's go over the payouts. House, 2000 over first month, 1000 thereafter. Senate monthly unknown, but word on the street is it's this. <laughs> Deliciousness. 
$2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. Three weeks ago, we thought, well, maybe the pandemic's over and those legislators may only give us one-year checks, not pandemic plus one year, which would be 12 months of checks or $13,000 under the House bill. But then two weeks ago, we started to see the changing of the guard on the result of what's going on. And on Thursday, a Republican, during the test testimony of Jay Powell on Capitol Hill, said, well, the pandemic's not over, Senator Chair Chairman of, of the Fed. What do you think about this? So both Republicans and Democrats now think that the pandemic's not over. If that's the case, then the House bill would likely give more than just one year, likely more than just 12 checks, likely more than just $13,000. And how does that compare to this? <laughs> vote now. Jump in the live chat right now and vote. Senate versus House. House versus Senate. Tell me where you're tuning in from and who's the weather. How's, who's the weather? How's the weather? Vote right now. House or Senate. House or Senate. I want to see you vote in. Boy, things have changed, and this is why you guys stay with me around the clock. I've been saying over the last 48 hours that the news cycle, which refers to how often news changes, is going to get very tight, and it is getting very tight. You're going to see throughout this video that the news cycle is changing almost every four hours now, not every 24 hours. So a lot of breaking news coming up later in this video. Who gets this forced stimulus check? Democrats represent that if you're a single individual, you get a forced stimulus check, 75000 or less. In fact, Democrats say if you got a third, you get a fourth. Mary couple, 150000 or less. Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Double it. Family of four. Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. The forced stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. The forced stimulus check will be the same amount for adults and also for adult dependents. And the forced stimulus check does not come in waves. It's not a waivable check. It's a monthly check. So if you're at the ballpark this weekend and you see the your, your you know your home team is at the bat <laughs> is at the is at the plate and everyone's saying I'm about to do the way and then the check doesn't stand up and you say is uh, oh you're from the other team aren't you <laughs> it's not a root check it doesn't like your team and it's also not a waivable check. <laughs> The fourth stimulus check would come in the month of July for the month of July. The Democrats are represented in the month of August for the month of August. But what happened with that July 4th vote? In the third part of this video, we go over a lot of breaking news about votes and cloutures and what Chuck Schumer called a vote for for next Tuesday. Which bill is it and what type of vote is it? I'll explain to you the details. I'll also go over which group of which, uh, which group for which bill is working on stuff over the weekend and worked over the weekend before the new week. I'll go over what the subject matter is the big issue of contention. And this is breaking news you're hearing for the first time on this afternoon's LA broadcast. In this middle of this video, we'll go over the recon. The $3.5 trillion of checks for you. We'll go over what some of those checks are and what some of the other checks could be. And then we get a second pre second half of the video. We have this stimulus. Here's a preview of the second half. This stimulus will raise your benefits up if you're on SSI to VA benefits. And then apply a new benchmark inflation. Well, j Powell on Capitol Hill testified about how high that inflation's going. I have the latest details on that of what he said this week. But first, let's get some money. It's a wonderful day, and it's a wonderful day to get some money, so get a pen and paper ready, because that's what you have been killing it on. I am so proud of you. I was recording videos where I said, hey, with these videos, I can help you get $5,000 for rent. And then viewers got $20,000 for my videos, like Nisi, $20,000 for rent and $23,000 for all sorts of money. And she's not an, a, a unique occurrence. I have viewers daily getting twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 for rent. For utilities. I said, again, I, I could help you get $300 for utilities. Viewers got $3,000 of utilities this week from this channel. When we turned to Snap, I said, I can get you five, dollars $6,000 for Snap because viewers were getting $5,000, $6,000 for Snap. But then John came around and said, no, I got $12,000 and it snowballed. Viewers getting big sums of money, $10,000. So what's going on? This is what this channel does. It gets you money. This is not a check tracking channel. In spring of last year, people were not getting their EIDL loans or the EIDL grants, and there was nothing to track. But I launched this channel not to track it, because it wasn't coming, but to get it. And I got it, $25 million of it. In fall of 2020, people were not getting their rent. They were not getting their bills paid. They were not getting a second stimulus. There was no second stimulus check to track because it had not gone out. So I got a few as a quarter million dollars of rent, like Tyrone. His family of four in Boston got $15,000 for rent. 
Oh, and by the way, here's an aside. Kevin Lee, who I helped get rent under the first few months of this channel in April and May, DM me this last week. He got another round of rent. Wow, I'm so excited for you. He got rent last year and he's got rent again. That absolutely can occur, absolutely all across the board. But now, you're getting enormous sums of money, and if you haven't gotten money, we're going to get this money right now. So get a pen and paper ready. We're going to go over the big sums of money you can get. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgage, and homeowner's utilities. The rent, I usually say, is about five to six, about $5,000 of rent, about four to six months of rent, but viewers are getting a lot more money. So get that pen and paper ready and that pen. Uh, if it must be a, a pen, a Crayola crown, I am wearing Crayola blue today. Nothing muddled about it. It's just beautifully Crayola. <laughs> and here we go. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority, your state hall, and your state house authority. Each area has different eligibility. If one says no, reach out to the next. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or um, Mitch's wonderful backup singing career. <laughs> They don't know that. They don't really want to know that. I don't think anyone's ears want to know that either. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful pot of money. The next pot of the money is Snap. If you got Snap, jump in the live chat and post it right now. If you got Rent, post in the live chat right now. John, as I said, got $12,000 for Snap. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom. Gail got it as well. What is it? It's money for food. It comes from the Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year now. Why so much money? Because of two executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raised your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. And there you go. You're killing it. We're killing it. $15,000, $16,000 for SNAP for family of four in Hawaii. $5,000 at least for rent, but viewers are getting $20,000 from it. And we're only 11, 12 minutes of this video. And I got more money for you right now. It's the money coming back from your state due to computer error because they didn't choose to upgrade to uh, to uh, uh, <laughs> Y2K. <laughs> you know, the year 2000 came around and they're like, ah, that that that's that century is never going to happen. <laughs> So, guess what? Those refund checks are coming. One viewer got three thousand. Another viewer got five thousand dollars, and they had uh, fine computers. <laughs> so, what's going on? The federal government has ordered that money returned back to you. Where direct deposit? When reach out to your specter state and say, "Hey, state, where is that money due to computer error of owed payment of unemployment benefits?" And can you track the check with a computer that works? <laughs> and finally, the last part of the money is the refund check from IRS. We have some breaking news about that as well. While Margaret got it, Cod got it, Michael got it, congratulations. This is the refund check um, IRS for unemployment benefits. IRS gave us an update this week and that there's another round going out. The average payout on this round, a lot, a whopping $1,265. Whoa, that's almost as much as the third summer's check. Uh, direct deposits started July 4th and mail checks went out on July 16th. And then another round will start next week. Very exciting details. How much? Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You pay $5,000 of taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations. You're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposits otherwise in the mail. When? This month. Can you track it? Yeah. About 70% of the time you can. Go to iris.gov. Do a transcript search. And it'll reveal stuff that you never knew. Um... Well, it'll reveal some stuff that you don't want to know. It'll reveal some stuff that um, that you sort of didn't want anyone to know when you went into the witness protection plan. <laughs> it'll reveal the tax return you file, the taxes you pay. It'll reveal, really, um, when Mitch sings, is he soprano or auto soprano? <laughs> It'll reveal the tax return. I just can't. The visual of that is just overwhelming to me. It'll reveal the tax return you filed and the taxes you're getting back. Oh, boy. Mitch uh, singing La Boheme, my, my, my favorite. <laughs> and there you go. Can we top that? We can. As we go into the second part of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 before I lose it. Here we go. So we have two items, recon and bipartisan. The recon became passable about three weeks ago. But in essence, the price tag has been passed. What's going on here? 
when we talk about the recon, up to three weeks ago, it was this behemoth that had in their roads and bridges. They asked Democrats, would you vote in favor? Democrats asked Democrats. And they said, no, it's too big. Take the roads and bridges out. So they shrunk the roads, the recon, taking roads and bridges out. The roads and bridges went somewhere else. That somewhere else is called bipartisan or infrastructure. And suddenly the recon became smaller and passable. But the great news is that the recon was ostensibly passed for the price tag this week. Democratic caucus members met, and this is how they agree upon price tags. They don't vote on price tags, they meet as a caucus. And those Democratic senators met and said, we agree upon $3.5 trillion. To understand, the, to understand the significance of that price tag, Bernie Sanders is quoting an article today saying he wanted $6 trillion. He went at six trillion and was ecstatic with 3.5. So he thinks 3.5 gets everything done. Why is he happy with 3.5 if he's asking for six? Because he wanted the same items, but for many more years. He says, I can still get the same items at 3.5 just last year's. So it shows you the breadth of the excitement. Now, how did this become passable? Because of the taking out of the stuff from the recon. And we have that confirmation from conservatives. A wonderful op-ed wrote, written in a conservative publication, said the following. The higher the top line was on the recon, the price tag, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmation. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending and put it into the bipartisan roads and bridges, it made the overall price number of the re recon smaller. There you go. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. Sorry to set you up, bitch. Now, here's what's fascinating is that at the time of this article were written, it went on to say that GOP should not bless the bipartisan or infrastructure. Now they are. Mitch loves it. Mitt Romney loves it. And the Republicans are working tooth and nail all weekend long into the new week to ensure that it's done. So that's a very exciting news. Now, for the first time on morning on Afternoons LA, I want to go over some words so you understand where your money is and not get confused by terminology, because it is confusing. Roads and bridges are in bipartisan, your money in recon. That's $3.5 trillion of your money. But the problem of words starts with the fact that there's multiple words used to describe the same thing. Recon is also called reconciliation. It's also called the budget bill. It, any times you see a price tag, it's $3.5 trillion, and it's usually quoted with Bernie Sanders. It's only Democrat. When you look at the bipartisan, obviously, it's bipartisan. It's Republican and Democrat. It's also called the infrastructure. It has a smaller price tag, $1.5 trillion approximately. And when you see articles quoted by it, it's usually Mitt Romney, Lisa Murkowski, and Kristen Sinema. How do we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot by the progressives saying that once the recon was shrunk, they were able to add stuff back in. Interesting. You see now, because of this breaking news, that Ch that Mitch wanted to bro blow it right back up to $6 trillion. Couldn't do it. Uh, not Mitch, I'm so sorry. Um, Bernie, to $6 trillion, he couldn't. But he got it to 3.5, and guess what? That was a number that progressives, moderates, and even um, middle-of-the-road Democrats all blessed. They loved it. They had talked about this for weeks before, saying we need to get this at a price tag that is big and bold enough about it. Um, Representative Richie Torres out of New York said, I would not bless the bipartisan unless the recon's big enough. Well, he got it, $3.5 trillion, and he says that he's putting housing in there. Then we had Representative Ian Omar that said, we'll get a recon that goes as big as we want. Well, she got it. $3.5 trillion. And the progressives were meeting with the White House daily, Progressive Caucus, to ensure that the, that the recon was big enough. They got it. Whether it's progressives, whether it's moderate Democrats, any type of Democrats, they all are ecstatic with the $3.5 trillion. More about that later in this video. You should as well. Now, how did they get that spot? Because the president had told Schatz and Jalapal to protect the recon. Because it's your money, it's progressive priorities. And the White House considers the progressive priorities in the recon its priorities, said Schatz in a recent quote. Now, how do we get to this wonderful spot from Jalapal? But before that, let's understand what a recon is. It's very, very important. It's important to understand how it's written. It's important to understand how it's voted on. First, what is a recon? It stands for reconciliation. Who writes it? It's written by subcommittees of the House and subcommittees of the Senate, with the House subcommittees as the lead authors. The president does not write it. He does not ever t raise a pen or pen paper for this situation. Those subcommittees in the House under the Constitution are delegated different subject matters. And so when they go do the recon, they do the subject matter, they are established under. House Ways and Means are established to go over anything 
for stimulus checks and write that part. They're also responsible for writing unemployment. Now, when they go right, here's what's important to know, that under the Constitution, there is no transparency about requiring them to show you what they're writing or what they're voting. They could be writing to add something, writing to take it out, voting in favor, voting against. They don't have to show you what they're doing. Some departments do, some subcommittees do, but they have no requirement of the Constitution to do that. When they're ultimately done, let's say that's 10 subcommittees, for example, with 10 pages they wrote, they combine them and send them up either to Nancy or Chuck. Nancy would be an, would be an H for House, Chuck would be an S for Senate, and then it becomes a combined bill. And that's when you see it. How do we get to this wonderful spot? For, by Jalapal. Jalapal had written a letter to Schumer saying, Chuck, all the vote. Now, the letter was tried by 12 House Democrats who among the 100 plus who had said, we're going to be putting Mr. President in there a monthly for stimulus check in the for stimulus package. They wrote that letter to the president. Wow, can we top that? Yes. As seven members of that same subcommittee I just went over, House Ways and Means, had written the president a letter recently saying, when we write for stimulus recon, which they do, that the House sub subcommittee of Ways and Means will be putting monthly stimulus checks in there. Wow. Now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? Yes. They say they're doing a fist stimulus check. More about that later in this video. And can we top that news? We can, as the president has now gotten his global minimum corporate tax rate and international agreement. You know, it's very important to stay with this channel. You know, I remember when I first started covering global international corporate tax rate, there was a troll that would always jump in the comments and said, it needs an act of Congress. It's an international a treaty. You know, it's all that fake narrative that needs to sort of stop. Guess what? It's law. <laughs> did not need an act of Congress. I told you it didn't need one. Uh, maybe it needs a side of some parsley. <laughs> <laughs> so this week it became official. It is actually officially international law now. And that international law, you saw the ceremonial signature three weeks ago, but it actually formally was signed this week. This is huge because now it makes recon easier to pass. Why? Number one, it makes it easier to write the recon because you don't have to put this confusing international corporate taxes in there. Confusing. Number two, it's easy to call for a vote because the stuff is not in there anymore. Number three, it's easy to vote on it because that confusing stuff is not in there. And finally, it's easy to pass it because you don't have that confusing stuff in there. No one likes anything confusing. And guess what? I'm going to keep it easy and non-confusing as we go into the final third part of your Force Simmons Check Update 2021 later in the final 15 of this video. I'll go over what the Democrats and the Republicans do did this weekend going into the new week doing did this weekend going into the new week i'll go over what's happening next week with chuck with the vote we'll be going over a lot of details across the board what you need to know about the vote the bills and the dates and we'll also go over the money that is in there a fortune 3.5 trillion you'll see a preview of some of the other checks that are in there but first here's something even equally wonderful the volunteers if you've had problems getting rent utilities internet snap or homeowners mortgage utilities reach out to the volunteers they have your back like I have your back. This is a family where people help each other, a family of loving and caring. How do you find the volunteers? Open the description of this video. Go down the description, you'll see an emoji of a house. It's not Nancy's. <laughs> Click the emoji of a house where it says community page. Click that, it sends you over to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. On the community page are a series of some kitty cats, not Nancy's. Lower on the page are some volunteers that separate from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them and they'll help you get that big money for rent and more. And I will be back with you in 60 seconds with the shocking details about Mitch's backup singing career. No, nope. <laughs> about the second part of your fourth stimulus, the final part of your fourth stimulus check update and fifth stimulus in this video. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. 
The excitement starts on mornings LL8 at 9 a.m. Home LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LL8 at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LL8. And the excitement continues right now on this big afternoon's broadcast as we're jumping into the surf of stimulus with incredible details coming up in the second final 15 minutes of this video. In the final 15, we'll be going over the vote, the bill, the dates, everything you need to know about what's going on on Capitol Hill. We'll go over what the Democrats and the Republicans did all weekend long and what they continue to do all weekend long. And then we cut to fist stimulus, which raise your benefits up a lifetime. A lot of details to subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. I want you to subscribe and be part of this community. Fastest growing YouTube channel of its kind, 400,000 in one year, next stop, one million. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes, let's do it. And consider becoming a member, the link's at the top of the chat. Stay on this video, it'll automatically take you to Evenings LA, a new show tonight, starting at 5 p.m. And then after that is Overnight's Crypto, and then Sir Loin at 8 o'clock. Let's go right into Fifth Stimulus, which is absolutely so needed. Because it was promised to my viewers by the president when running for president in his SSI reform. But ironically, this is not coming from him. This is coming from congressional leaders saying, you promised it, so we're doing it. They're going to raise the benefit limits up under fiscal stimulus. Then they'll add an inflationary benchmark, remove the asset limits, add in a remove the marriage penalty, and remove the income exclusion. Now, let's go over how this works, and let's go over what Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, said this week. First, it'll raise your benefits up one big time. That's you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, yes, and SSA, or multiple beneficiaries. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. That new benchmark is inflation. As you know, a benchmark is applied in the fall for next year's benefits, and it raises up your benefits. Well... What did Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, say on Capitol Hill this week? He said exactly the same thing he said the month before. Thank goodness. I'm very excited. He said that inflation is going up, and it's still going up. And it's going to reach its highest point around December. Huge! Because its highest point is when they apply your benchmark. So how high is the number? Wall Street analysts said this week, my number, which I'm really excited for. The consensus was about 5% is what they think that inflation is going to be temporary or what they call transitory. Well, and after that, it's going to come down. Great news because look how this works. First, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply that benchmark. Let's say it's 5%. That would raise your benefits up 5%, not just next year. A lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. If the inflation rate is more, 2% the year after that, you, you are a plus 5, plus 2% lifetime. Wow. Then they're going to move the asset cap dating back to a 1980s law. says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. Now you have some time to put some Crayola muddled, no, nothing muddled, um, Crayola blue in your hand and some stimulus checks. They're going to remove the asset cap, the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work at Sam Benefits. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. You'll no longer have to fear a loss of benefits. It would not be retroactive. And viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married. There you go. Now, yes, that House subcommittee has ways and means to said they're giving you a fifth stimulus check. That would be next year. It would not overlap with this check. Third, the president has dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration to ramp up insurement that all your money gets out on time. This would be upcoming stimulus checks and also your benefits checks. And finally... If you are missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, you must do two things. There's no way around it. It's required under the IRS's code. You must file a tax return and request it on the tax return. If you haven't done both, reach out to a tax preparer. Finally, if you're in the live chat and you're watching, wait a second, how are all these people with that beautiful purple emoji? Uh, it's just gorgeous. I love that color. Where did they get that purple emoji hawk from? Well, they became members. There's a join link under the video. By becoming members, and you'll notice they're all posting those great success stories, they learned about all the big money that's available for them under third stimulus. 
when second stimulus passed, it was a $600 stimulus check. I said, yeah, this is a $600 stimulus check, but I'll get you $6,000. Well, I got viewers $15,000. When third stimulus passed and there was a $1,400 stimulus check in there earlier this year, I said, yeah, but I'll get you $14,000. Well, now I'm getting viewers $23,000. So what's important to understand is there's fortunes of more money in there for every stimulus package, like the one we're doing right now, four stimulus, four stimulus of $3.5 trillion. And while you may have gotten a $1,400 third stimulus check, get ready for the tens of thousands of dollars available still for you in third stimulus. Consider becoming a member so you get delivered daily all those details. Let's go into the final part of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. The final 15 starts right now. Well, we have two paths that have to get done. And we have some voting to get done. Here's what you need to know. First, you got to separate the two items and not get confused. The recon is your money, $3.5 trillion. The bipartisan or the infrastructure is not your money. That's roads and bridges. But here is the issue. Why was the recon not called for a vote on July 4th, as Nancy and Chuck said over a thousand times? Because at that time, the recon had roads and bridges in there before the split. It was too big. The problem was after the split, when the recon was shrunk and became passable, it was still not passed because they have to have the, the bipartisan voted on close in time. Why? A series of Democrats came forward and said, yeah, um, I will pass the recon and send out this money to the American people, but I will not let the bipartisan sit by the wayside and get to it in 10 months from now. You've got to do it close in time. Recon has to go first and bipartisan has to go right after it. Well, what great news do we have this week? A series of great news on both fronts. Let's do recon first. On Tuesday, as I told you early in this video, they got an agreement on the price tag of the recon. When you do the price tag of the recon, you do that first. It does not go to a vote. It goes to a caucus meeting of senators, and they met, and they said, yes, passed, effectively. $3.5 trillion. This is a huge accomplishment. As Bernie Sanders said, a historic day in the American people. It is something for celebration. Two reasons. Number one. The fact that it was done, because now all they have to do is slide in the price tags to different projects within the $3.5 trillion. It was a number proclaimed and celebrated by both progressives and conservative Democrats. All right, number two, it's huge because the price tag is so big. Bernie Sanders applauded the number, saying he gets everything he needs to have done, done. Just gives a shorter time horizon, less years than what he had wanted. Tim Kaine praised the whole situation, saying now it makes it very easy to just get the whole stuff done. So the recon, by most accounts, is ostensibly written. But here's what you need to know. They will not show it to the American people until it goes to a vote. Why, it's sort of like a pop singer who has a new album. They don't want to release the whole album ahead of time. They may tease you with an initial track, but they're not going to show you the whole item ahead, album ahead of time. And, and print media has run stories saying, well, we haven't seen the recon bill. Understand, you should not go negative and say, I haven't heard any mention of. Guess what? No one's heard any mention of because there's no release of the fourth stimulus recon yet. Doesn't mean it's not written. And doesn't mean it's not in there. They're not showing you what they've written and agreed upon. Now, with that, you'll say, wait a second, LA. Did you say you had some details of what's in the recon? How did you get it? Uh, Napster. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah. There was a conservative publication out that wanted to trash talk the recon. So they said, hey, here are some provisions in the recon that really don't help Americans, but it's in there. How dare them put those items in the recon? <laughs> so that's how I got this article. It's not a comprehensive list of what's in the recon. It shows you some of the items of the recon. $3.5 trillion, all checks, all checks for the American people. Here are some, some of the checks. Free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, immigration reform checks, money for elections checks, farming checks, internet checks. They propose to give fortunes to local cities so that they can start their own internet companies and give it to the free to their, to their local citizens. 
And then the checks keep on going on. Lots of checks for workers and seniors, yes. So lots of checks for unions and collective bargaining rights and lots of checks for seniors, like uh, eligibility age lowered and more money for dental, vision, and health care checks. Wow, incredible great news. So when is the vote then on the recon? Well, I'm going to show you that in one second. It's dependent upon the bipartisan, and let me get to that bipartisan right now. So Mitt Romney and the bipartisan group said on Wednesday that effectively by Thursday, they looked to, last Thursday, they looked to get the deal provisions of the bipartisan infrastructure done. And by most accounts, they're done ostensibly with the deal provisions of what's in the bipartisan. So then what is the next step? They said that when they're ostensibly almost done with the deal provisions, then they can write the bill. But there is one other thing that has not been agreed upon, how to pay for it, which is different than what is in the bill. It's basically like the bill is uh, do these, we, we're going to fix this bridge, that bridge, and that road. Okay, we agree upon that. Okay, now who's going to pay for it? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Sirloin? Yeah, so they haven't gotten to that. And that was what they're working all weekend long about, how to pay for the recon. Uh, excuse me for the for the bipartisan infrastructure. Next, this coming week, the CBO Congressional Budget Office, which is nonpartisan, will release its uh, report on the infrastructure, not the recon, but the infrastructure, explaining how much it will cost and raise the national deficit. Mitt Romney says he's not worried about the CBO. He was asked that question because some Republicans say, oh, if it raises the budget, the deficit too much, I might not want to vote in favor of the infrastructure. Mitt Romney says, no, that's not going to be the case. More about this pay for later in this video when I insert my personal opinion. So what did that bipartisan group also say about the bipartisan infrastructure? They said they could potentially get this to a bill and a vote on the infrastructure bipartisan this coming week. Wow. Now, middle of the road, cons uh, middle of the road publications and uh, nonpartisan public nonpartisan news like this channel are in agreement that they we don't think that the bipartisan infrastructure will be ready for a vote this coming week, but the next week will be. So, yes, here we go for recon. Why is this great news for recon? Because the recon gets voted before the bipartisan or concurrently, but probably before the bipartisan. And so if the bipartisan could go for a vote in one week's time from now, then that means the recon could go for a vote this coming week. Wow. Which would mean we'd see the bill this coming week. Also triple wow. So then what is Chuck Schumer calling for a vote on Tuesday for? This is where you, I have to slow it down because this is getting hyper-technical at this point. On Tuesday, Chuck Schumer will call a procedural vote on the bipartisan infrastructure. What type of procedural vote? It's basically a vote that says, I will cut off the time for you to work on the bipartisan infrastructure after a certain number of days. It basically says, you may no longer be able to work on the bipartisan infrastructure after a certain number of days, uh, and so get it done. <laughs> it's sort of like a, a, a professor who says, um, we're, we're going to have a pop quiz. I'm only going to give you 45 minutes to work on it. Um, but um, And then the, the students want to argue, no, I think we should have an hour and a half. Well, I'll call vote. Should we have an hour and a half or 45 minutes? That's what they're doing. They're not actually doing the pop quiz. They're agreeing upon how much time to do this. So will that vote pass on Tuesday? I don't think so. It requires both Republicans and Democrats and both sides of the aisle don't want to be told stop doing stuff in a certain time a time of frame. They want to, um, they want more time. But they're worked all weekend long on this, so that's positive news. How do they get this to a final vote? You'll need 12 votes, which is forced three rounds of four, but it does not take 12 days. You'll need Senate subcommittee, Senate floor, House president times three. Three bills. What are the three bills? The recon procedural, the recon substantive, and the bipartisan. Next, um, it's important to note that in everything 
has a push, and that push goes down to the final line. If you were with me in 2020, around December, it was getting cold here in LA, and then suddenly you heard a lot about Pat Toomey and Mitt Romney, and things were changing every two minutes. I would remind you, if you're one of you with that at that time, that we would wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning and we'd hear that the stimulus check went out, the stimulus check went in, then it was only for these people, that it was small, then it wasn't in, then someone didn't want it, then someone did want it, and it was in and out, and that was just for the stimulus check. Then we had talks that the whole package was falling apart in the morning. Uh, Pat Toomey said, if, you, if I don't get the Toomey provision, as we said, in there, the whole thing is going to fall apart. The news cycle was literally changing every 10 seconds. The problem with uh, broadcast news and print media is that they'll run a story and it'll be on the front page. And if they don't take it off and you go to that front page a day later, you'll see, you'll think that's the current news cycle. No, the news cycle may have changed 20 times since then. So what I need you to know is you need to push. In fall 2020, there was a thing called the continuing resolution that had to get done. It's the budget bill for the federal government. No one was talking about getting stimulus anywhere except doing it by bill. I came up with the idea, put stimulus checks into the CR. It was my idea, launched on this channel, CR for stimulus. It trended on Twitter. And I told you to get it out, the message, and you did it. Stimulus in the CR. Suddenly the waves turned and they came up, they listened and heard and they heard your push and started putting stimulus in the CR. It wasn't in there till I brought it up. But they started to push back against us. They only put unemployment stimulus in there. And then we said, wait a second. We want stimulus checks in the CR. Seats for stimulus. Put it in there or we're kicking you out in the midterm elections. And that's what happened. They got the stimulus check in there and we got the push. Here what you need to know is with these final 14 days, the push is going to be very narrow. So you need to push. You need to push across the board to ensure your money is in the recon. You need to call up your Democratic senators and say, we need this. I need this. Don't call up and ask things like a donut guy. Where is it? When am I receiving it? What date am I getting? What day is the vote? When am I receiving it? No when questions. Say, I need it. I need it because I don't have a job. I lost my job. My mom uh, is on limited Social Security. She doesn't have enough money. Say why you need it. They need to hear your situation. They're in Washington. They're in a comfy office. They don't hear from you. They don't see you. They don't understand the problems. Call them up. If you don't have a Democratic senator, call someone else's Democratic senator. As H as XHR said on Noontime two weeks ago, he said he had called up Pat Toomey's office and explained, not Pat Toomey, um, uh, Chris Coons' office, Democrat out of Delaware, explained why we need stimulus checks, made his pitch, and the secretary said, yes, Senator Coons is putting them in there monthly. Now, not time for you to put up a donut in your hand and put your feet up on the chair because one viewer took care of the situation. You need to push as well. Finally, my personal message. Do I have an opinion of anything? <laughs> of course I do. Well, one thing I do have an opinion about is the following. I don't like hearing about the bipartisan group has not agreed upon how to pay for the bipartisan item. I think this is a big issue. And there's a lot of reports this weekend that says, well, there's about 20 items they can choose from, like they're selling some FCC contracts for internet access to big, you know, big uh, 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 communications company, but that's only like 60 billion. It's not a lot of money. And they have not agreed to how to pay for the infrastructure. And there's not a lot of options about how to pay for the infrastructure. One analyst this report said, so this issue about how to pay for the infrastructure has been floating around for a few weeks. It's not just a new issue. So I am concerned. I would not exhaust your efforts and say, push the bipartisans to get the vote done on the bipartisan because it's sort of confusing to say but i do think they need to get their yeah moving they gotta get their thing moving because they need to figure out how to pay this for the stuff this has been a topic of discussion for a while and do i have a concern i do have a concern it's that that's not your money but it impacts your money because if they can't figure out how to pay for the infrastructure or or the bipartisan then how do they write the bill? Then how do they call the vote? Then that vote holds up the recon. Things 
mm, sort of, sort of sometimes domino. So I am watching that and I'm going to be updating you throughout the day and throughout the weekend as that develops and all next week as well. So with that, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Uh, fastest growing channel for a reason. Most in-depth coverage. 400,000, next stop, 1 million. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat, also under the video where it says join. Stay with me for evenings, LA coming up next. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more. Oh, 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 oh,